Uh, hello, it's me again. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to, um, using DeepStream and the Xavier NX and Ignition Maker, and extract the metadata out of uh, DeepStream and use Spark Plug MQTT to send it to uh, Ignition Maker. Now, what what, we've, what I've done is I've taken the DeepStream Python applications and I've uh, mixed it with uh, the uh, uh, Spark Plug uh, uh, Python application. So as you can see right here, I've got on the left, I've got the DeepStream Ignition USB RTSB PY and on the right I got example. On the left is the uh, where I mesh the two together, the DeepStream Python example and then uh, with the, uh, uh, the the MQTT spark plug example. Now I'm going to put all this on my GitHub repo with uh, all the, the, the links to kind of do this all yourself. So uh, first of all on the left this is what we're going to run. Now but I've got three of them in here. <clears throat> this is the file that you're going to use right here. Um, I got one is Deep Stream Ignition RTSP. That's just a, a, a Deep Stream uh, Python application that uh, uh, sends uh, the uh, uh, .h264 file that you could see, and then it also sends the meta metadata to Ignition Maker. And then on top, and then. Uh, Next one, this is just a USB right here, and uh, what it does this does the same thing. This displays the USB camera, and it also sends the metadata to Ignition Maker. And then uh, uh, on this next one, what this does is uses the webcam, and it uh, sends uh, the webcam picture over RTSP, so you can play that in HTTP in uh, ignition maker. Plus, it also sends the metadata over um, to Ignition Maker, so you can, you know, see like how many people, how many frames, um, uh, you know, objects, cars, and all that stuff. So that's that's what all this is. And then uh, this is their Spark plug in there. These are all the applications you need to get it to run. And so this is all this is in the folder that's in the GitHub repo. And when you get it, um, this is what the GitHub repo file is going to look like right here. And what you do is you need to put it in this right here. But you also need to download the uh, Python app applications. So that's in the GitHub repo also. So you put it in here in this apps folder. And then this is you'll come to this right here. And this is what you're going to use. So you can use any one of these. Uh, they're all set up to like uh, utilize all the DeepStream applications. So then what happens is to get it to run, you CD into uh, this right here, this DeepStream Ignition RTSP web, and then you run this. Now, <clears throat> if you want to run the other ones, you would just run this, this one. If you wanted just the USB camera and send metadata over, but the USB camera will play locally. Um, you would just uh, run the Python application like it would be uh, this one. If you wanted to uh, run uh, just the H.264 file and send metadata over it, you'd run this one. If you want to send USB over RTSP and then send metadata to, to Ignition, then you run this, this one right here. So, so what you do is you do this, and it says we're going to run the, the video uh, webcam. We run that. It starts running, as you can see, and we created all our stuff, and then we started our thing. And then, as you can see, we're going right here. We're sending our information over RTSP, um, so we're sending out the stream, and we're also sending out uh, metadata to uh, Ignition. Let's pause that right there, and then we go to here. Now, <coughs> this is what it looks like in Ignition. So what happens is when we run the um, applications, the Python applications, it will automatically make all this right here. You won't have to do anything. It automatically makes it. And, uh, and then you have the frame number, the number of objects, the person count, the vehicle count. And uh, what happens is once uh, it, it, the Python application starts, it builds all this, 
and then it starts loading up the uh, uh, information like the frame count and stuff. So I started it like I'm, I'm doing two screen uh, recordings. So um, I started the other one and this one should start running uh, when the other one runs. Like I say, there I've two got two screen, screen recordings going. So, you know, that's what we're doing. So let's see. It should start in a minute. What happens when I run the application over there, this all goes to zero and then it'll start. Like it'll make this Xavier NX device info input frame number number of objects person count and vehicle count this will all be done automatically so let's see why haven't we started going yet and like I say once we do once we you have you then you can pull down these objects right here these uh, LED displays and then you can tag these these uh, tags to these so as the information comes in um, it'll uh, uh, it'll start it'll show up in here and then we're also going to start the uh, um, the uh, we're going to use a, a VLC to do our conversion from RTSP to HTTP so what's let's, let's see let's get this going There we go. Let's go right there. So cool. So once the, the the program starts, it does this, builds all this, and what happens if this is already built? It does it doesn't matter. Overlook it. But what happens? The stream starts, and it starts sending the frame number in, the number of objects, the person count, and the vehicle count. So now what we do is we got the stream coming over. So now we got to do a conversion from RTSP RTSP to HTTP, and we're going to use the VLC player to do that. Like I said, um, and I'm going to put a link in my GitHub repo how to install <coughs> all of this. The Spark Plug uh, MQTT uh, app uh, module and, and all that. Like I say, my GitHub repo will have instructions on how to, to get this set up. Because it's going to take some setting up to get this running and stuff like that. So let's see, you can see our frame counts coming in, our cars are coming in, and you can see right here we're going to use this to convert our stream from uh, RTSP to HTTP. And this is, I got a, I got in my GitHub repo, it shows how to do this also. It tells you where to find how to do this. So we're going to bring our stream in. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to go to HTTP. Um, then we'll go to next. This is the how we want it done. And then uh, there's uh, we have to put our how we want the stream built. So we'll put that in there. And there's a, a web page for that. And I'll put a link to that. And if you've seen my videos before, you've probably seen this. So I just copy this piece right here. And then we'll put it in the VLC right here. And then we start streaming. Now this is already set up to accept that website. So what you do is you might have to uh, um, like click up here to start it there, or just double check to make sure you have the uh, um, the IP address correct right here. And this is what's being sent from the VLC. So there we go so that's right 8080 so here here's the camera coming from uh, uh, this is this is the application that's running on the the Xavier NX and it's being streamed over here and this is all being captured over here as you can see there's the frame number the number of objects the vehicle count person count and then uh, we're uh, uh, you can see it's coming in here there's not much lag so these numbers are pretty good it's coming in here so what happens is we're gonna we got this going on. So what we're gonna do is uh, we just save this application file, save and publish it. And once we do that, we can go back to any application, your phone or anything. But on this one, I went back to the the Nano or the Xavier NX, and I'm gonna run it in there. So let's start running this. So I gotta bring up the uh, ignition. Uh, local host, the ignition uh, server. I'm going to run it. 
This is the, the program we built in uh, uh, Ignition, the other one, in the Maker. And we're going to run it. So here, here's the actual program running. So, you know, it sees everything and everything is this pretty. The, you'll see, I'll, I'll walk out there and you'll see me and it'll, it, it's, it's pretty fast, you know. Like I say, this is streaming from the Xavier NX. And this is what's coming also. And then this is what's being sent with Python and metadata to Ignition Maker. And I'm using that information to throw into some tags. So there's me out there. You see they're doing construction there along my neighborhood. And once you see, it'll pick up a person and, and then it puts a one in there. So that says there's three cars, there's three objects. It'll see me again. There's a one. So that's basically it. Like I say, I'm going to put a, a link to my GitHub repo, and you should be able to uh, do this all on your on your own. And if you go back here to this is Ignition Maker running still, see it's running in here also. But this is just where you build it. Once you build it and you save it, you don't need this anymore. You just you'll just utilize um, the application. Now this will show up on your phone also, so. Well, anyway, that's it. So good luck with it. I'll, I'll do my best to try and get you all the information that you need. So uh, good luck.